there. This hey there. This is Lana's Enchanted Sky. Welcome. Uh, please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. I have been giving them out. Um, I'm thinking uh, maybe I should make it more official because it probably looks like I'm not doing it, but I am. Um, I kind of do it on the low and because it's private. But anyway, um, please watch Metaphysical Meanderings. It's doing really well on my podcast. Um, that is 216thenet.com, or you can watch it here live, 9 30 a.m. to 10 30 a.m. on Saturday mornings. You can also download it off of Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, um, Spotify, Anchor, two other places I can't remember. <laughs> With that, joke of the day. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. I thought it was cute. Okay, blessings to all you guys, and um, keep watching. I'm starting to increase some of my, um, starting to increase some of my my activity here on YouTube. Please join me on TikTok. Also, I'm Lana's Enchanted Sky on there. Also, blessings. Hey there, Scorpio. This is your relationship reading now. There is somebody that's coming into your, that you're going to be dealing with. And it's, some people say it's the woman of your dreams. I, I don't know, but I know there's a Sag, a Leo and Aries. Somebody with fire, somebody with grounded at the same time. Somebody that's a, that gardens and is spiritual, okay? You're sitting on this, not sure what to do with this person. And I feel like there's maybe been some type of riff or something. Yeah, you're getting your wish. And I feel like they're coming towards you and you're getting messages. Now, you're working hard on this relationship. And I want to say that there's a spirituality about the whole relationship. So it's a give and a take and everything. And it's some type of twin flame relationship. Because look at, we got two people looking at each other. Okay? It, and it's transforming into something new. So... Is it going to work out eventually? It's just going to take some hard work. So whoever this is, it could be a boss. It could be a friend, okay? But you're going to get your wish. And the relationship itself is you're breaking free. So you're going to be talking. Now, I'm reading this during Mercury and Retrograde, and it's just ending now. And July is the perfect time to reach out to somebody. And I want to say... That, you know, you haven't been happy with this. Oh, see, look it. I don't, I feel like it's going to work out. I feel like it's, it, and it's, it's positive. See, look it. There's, there's, you know, the, the tower card isn't always a tower card as in negative. I feel like there's going to be some type of understanding, some type of get together, some type of, you're getting your wish. Okay. And you're going to be happy. Now, do I see, I feel like you're cutting this person out. Not necessarily. Now, there's a choice that needs to be made. You're going to do the right one. Okay? I feel like there is communication between this person. This person's from your past. So this could be even a parent. All right? Remember, I do relationship readings, but I don't concentrate on love. All right? And I concentrate on relationships. This is something that you've been working very hard on. Use your intuition on this one. You're going to need it, and, and it's okay. But, you know, there's a new start that's coming, and there's a choice that needs to be made. And I want to say you're cutting yourself loose. So all I know is that in, a, in the end, you're going to be very, very happy. Now, for some of you guys, there's, there's a person in power involved, and there's, there's two different people involved. There's a king and a queen. See how these are coming up as twin flame relationships? You have, this is a major learn learning curve for you this is something a very learn big lesson that you need to learn okay and remember i keep saying that we keep getting no matter what i keep getting this card in july for almost everybody and this card is the card of shock blow but it doesn't have to be necessarily bad it could be good okay i just know that in the end you're going to be extremely extremely happy Okay, because this is the, 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 the happily ever after card, and there's a lot of work to be done. Now, do you see how that can be an attorney or somebody in power? All right, you're going to be messing with some people in power. And now remember, this could be a coworker. 
this person could be a birth a supervisor, somebody above this other person, because the woman in question is woman or has female energy. And when I say female energy, I mean that they may, they may be um, they may be nurturers. They may be you know they may be female like in 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 their energy. Um, so just remember that. But there is there is somebody in power involved and a woman in money of money involved. Ooh, interesting. So I feel like for half of you, you're letting somebody go. And for the other half, you're working something out. Okay? So it's one or the other. All right? And it's going to be coming to you this month. And it has to be worked out. It's you're making the choices. You're transforming and cutting yourself loose from something. So it could be just bitterness, hatred, or it could be the person. But you have your mind to make up and it's a free will. So the way it looks now is it's going, you're going, it's going to go your way. Okay. And remember I said there's a new start. So like I said, one more time, half of you guys are going to be cutting this person loose and you're just, you're just done. You may have even reported them. You may have taken them to court. You made something. All right. And you're cutting them loose. And for the other half, you're working it out. But either way it goes you're going to end up happily ever after, okay? So think about who this person is. This could be your sister. It could be a friend. It could be a co-worker, a, a neighbor, okay? But there is a choice that you are making this month that's going to cause the tower to occur, okay? Because it's you, it's you leading this, you causing this. You. So whatever it is, it's going to happen quickly and you're going to go quickly towards it. Just remember, this person's from your past or this is an issue that's from your past. So this person isn't new. Okay? Think about who this is. Okay? And it's it's there for healing now that we're coming out of Mercury in retrograde. Because July, you're only not even, barely even a week out of Mercury in retrograde. So it's time for communication. Okay? Communion with your power animal means... Remember what I've told you about the power animal thing. Power animals are a reflection of what you're going through, what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And your totem animal and your power animal are different. A totem animal is the ultimate animal, but the power animals are ones that come into your life in and out. Like I've been into buffalo for abundance and I believe the impossible, so I got a flying pig. And yes, they can be uh, fantasy type creatures too. Aspire higher, you know, take the high road on this, you know, maybe, maybe you need to bite your tongue a little and let go and just forgive because there is a, there's a little bit of a forgiveness going on here and maybe you forgive them, but decided not to let them back into your life. But there is a deep forgiveness on your part and there's a spirituality about all the cards, a quest for change. See, and that card is change that tower card. Okay. Detach and seek refuge. Maybe you should walk away. It's telling you to walk away. Work it out or let it go. One or the other. You have no choices on that one. The unexpected mentor. So you might have somebody you might be able to talk this through to. Maybe this person becomes your mentor. Maybe you work it out. Okay. Um, there's a realization about the whole thing that maybe there was some miscommunication going on and you're working it out. Or... You can't work it out. They don't want to work it out. And you're like, you know what? Uh, done. So anyway, you're going to be happy. Now, the truth to you is unfolding. So it's going to, like, you're going to see it. Okay? Just remember, you're kind of in control of this whole thing. And it's going to work out for your favor. I am fearless. I am brave enough to take risks that I can live the life that I've dreamed of. I must face my fears to overcome them. Well, there you go. That summed that all up, didn't it? Blessings to all of you guys. And um, let me know what's go going on with all of you. All right? Blessings.